Hi guys, hey, welcome back to the channel. Hey, this is Tony from the Why Not Garage. So I've got a little addition here today. Um, Why Not Garage has now expanded. It's, we now have Why Not Mowing. So um, anyway, I'm retired from construction, so I wanted to pick up a little bit of a side job to do, a little fun thing to do on the side. So I um, decided to start myself up a little small, little mowing uh, company a little service to do pick up about you know 12 to 15 lawns and um, uh, Seems to be going pretty good right now. This is the beginning of the season I've got a few accounts already booked ahead of time now for the summer. Hopefully get a few more uh, Get things rolling pretty good um, You know obviously with the business there's some ups and downs, you know obviously of starting a, a business or a small little company on the side to do but uh, speaking of that, ups and downs, I got a little funny one here for you. So my little trailer back here is actually a little 5x8 utility trailer. And um, I put some bigger tires on it because I have to drive, you know, a little bit out of town here and there. So I didn't want to use a small little factory tire. So I ended up picking up a set of 15s to put on my trailer. This is a little small, little 12 inch tire. I've got now that's factory. I keep that to keep that for a spare. So anyway, I put 15s on it now here uh, in the back to get get it to ride better, obviously, and be a little bit more reliable on the road. Um, so as I did that, I raised my trailer. Well, it's got a little four foot ramp door on the back, so um, my ramp door was a little bit at a different incline, and I want it more flatter so uh, I can get my zero turn off on my John Deere. Well, about a week ago, I got my zero turn backed up on there, and you can see my video coming up next. Just hang tight, check this out. Um, I got my zero turn up on there, and I backed it up, and backed it up, put it on the trailer, and I went to go drive it off forward, and it was too steep, and uh, well, I kind of panicked, and had to have my son come over and get it off. He's a heavy machine operator and drives a lot of equipment and stuff. So he come over and, and looked and laughed at me. And uh, obviously I'm retired from construction. I used to run skid loaders, Bobcats. And uh, back in the day, I used to load them up on trailers with no problems. But um, anyway, <laughs> where I'm going with this story, I've got some material here on my trailer and uh, I'm actually going to add about a foot to my trailer gate and uh, I'm going to put a dovetail on that so I can get that angle from being like this to hopefully like this and uh, I can get my equipment off uh, with no issues. So anyway, stick around. We're going to do a video of doing uh, basically uh, doing the modification to the tailgate uh, to the drop gate on the back of the trailer. So stick around. I got a video coming. guys hey Monday morning here uh, we're gonna be heading over to a buddy of mine's house his uh, shop Jody and uh, we're going to fabricate the uh, the lift gate we're gonna put the little dovetail on it so uh, just closing up the why not garage here and uh, we're gonna be heading over to Jody's house and get this taken care of today Whoa, what a beautiful day today little chilly but a lot of sun and uh, so anyway I got the truck ready to go got the trailer all loaded up and we're heading that way so stick around
guys. Hey, just got it all finished up. Um, got it all painted, used some industrial black paint on it, and uh, got my little logo sign made for my lawn business, which I really like, and it turned out very good. Want to give a shout out to my buddy Jody. He did one heck of a job with this. Um, I wasn't much help to him uh, with this, which normally I am, but uh, uh, had a little bad issue with a, with a cut. Uh, the little uh, grating up here on this is very sharp, so I was handing it over to him and uh, I was taking it back. And as I took it back, um, I took it myself, carried it, which it wasn't very heavy, and it slipped in my hands. I wasn't wearing gloves, um, so I probably should have got stitches. And uh, so I worked the rest of the day with a Band-Aid on it. But anyway, like I say, uh, stick around. I'll show you the pics of my finger. Uh, if you've made it this far in the channel, uh, like and subscribe. I appreciate you hanging out, checking out what we did. Um, I haven't drove my zero turn up on it yet, but I know it's going to be wonderful. So stick around. I'll show you some pics of it. One more thing I just want to bring up that uh, since we put that dovetail on it, it was probably about another 50 pounds heavier. Uh, you know, obviously when we put everything all together, excuse the train in the background. <laughs> um, so we ended up putting some garage door springs on it, some 160 pounders. And I'll tell you what, that sure lightened the load up. So very easy to pick up now. Um, and that really, really did the trick. So if you guys are uh, have never used garage door springs on it, they work pretty good and it's actually a cheap way of doing it.